sorry. <laughs> Capricorn, I just did a reading and my mic was totally muted. Where the hell do they do that at? So let me tell you what the reading it was. I have all the cards in front of me. I was shuffling, 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 and four cards fell out. The yes, this was from the top, and this was from the bottom. So I pulled four cards. Well, four cards fell on the floor. The four cards were the lovers, the two of cups, the fool, and the five of pentacles. What does that mean, Nay? So, this reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South. No, thank you for liking my video. So, this is for you to let you know that there is going to be love coming into your life. But it's not the type of love to where you know it's coming. It's coming when you don't think, when you're not thinking about it. So I'm going to need you to stop thinking about it. But I have this as love. This is a situation with a lot of passion. Look at all that red. But I see this as a, per I see these as two people full of passion and chemistry, but strong enough to know not to lose themselves in the other person. Not to lose themselves in the other person. Six also has to do, or the lovers, excuse me, also has to do with choosing, like a major choice. I have the two of cups. This is about that chemistry. This is knowing that chemistry is not enough to maintain the situation. You have to have things in common, too, because the chemistry is going to be fire for so long for a lot of people. Um, I do believe it's possible for some people to have chemistry throughout their whole relationship, but I don't think that's the case for everyone. Because people get complacent and comfortable. But this is about you knowing that you're going to have to give and knowing that the other person is going to give too. This is about an equal give and take. This is a partnership. This is a partnership. For some of you, you may feel like this is a soulmate. I feel like for those of you that feel like this is a soulmate, and I know I didn't spray this, but I already did, but we'll just spray it again. Um, I feel like when you meet this person, if you haven't found your purpose, for some of you, it is going to help you find your purpose. Like meeting this person, it's going to help you find your purpose. Or you may actually meet them while you're finding your purpose, figuring out what your purpose actually is. I have the Fool card. And the reason I have the Fool card is because you have to trust in the universe. And the reason I say that is because she's trusting this stick here for dear life to hold her and not allow her to fall. But she's knowing that things happen in divine timing. With the full card, this person knows that things happen in divine timing. It's going to happen when it's meant to, not when you want it to. And then this is also about you guys taking a leap of faith and getting out of your comfort zone. Because some of you are going to be very hesitant to actually start something with somebody or even get to know someone. And just because somebody comes into your energy and they want to get to know you and they want it to be romantic does not mean it actually has to be. You get to know a person. You take your time. Things don't need to happen fast. And also about the passion, things don't need to happen fast. This was actually at the bottom of the deck. That was where I pulled it from. This is about you having boundaries, you setting boundaries when you meet somebody, letting them know things don't need to happen fast because in the past, and this is a note for you, Think of all the relationships that started fast and ended fast. And who got hurt? You. What could have stopped you from getting hurt? Taking your time. So it's something you have to do. It's going to be hard for a lot of people to practice patience and not want to, I don't know, sleep with someone. But this is about you maintaining a sense of self-discipline. And I'm going to say this. Men... 
Some of you guys need to actually look up um, semen retention. And this is like not having sex. This is not doing that not getting yourself off and see what the be the benefits and spiritual benefits are for semen protection uh retention semen retention look that up it's a thing i think the greatest sense of discipline that we can have is not being lustful not being lustful You have to make sure, Capricorn, that with your sense of independence that you've had, and a lot of you have gotten comfortable, I know I have, gotten comfortable with being alone, is just making sure that when we do meet somebody, we don't make them feel left out in the cold because we're just so freaking independent and used to doing things by ourselves. We're going to have to adjust when we get somebody into our life. Our lives. But this is about you being comfortable making sure you're comfortable in a situation, even if it is full of passion, having that groundedness, not losing yourself, making sure that there is loyalty. You feel the person is loyal. It's displayed. Their loyalty is displayed. Um, if that's something that makes you comfortable, um, that there's security and stability in the relationship. And you may have to talk about security and stability in a relationship. For some of you, money's going to be an issue. But this is about you f having a stable relationship because it starts st uh, the stability starts from the ground up. It starts from jump. It doesn't start six months down the line. It starts on day one. I will uh, really quickly tell you about a dream that I have because I feel like there was a message in there for you guys. And that's why I'm so upset that my microphone was on mute. Who does that? Um, I had a dream that I got married. And the person I got married his name is, uh, to, is, his name is Ben. And he is somebody that I went to school with overseas. And I don't know why he was in my dream. I just know we got married. We were really good friends, even though we're not friends. I mean, Facebook friends, but that's it. And in this dream, somebody was like, are you in love with him? And I said, no, I'm not. And they were like, but why did you marry him? Capricorn. I was blown away by my own answer. And my answer was, see, I just talked about loyalty. That was, that, was, that was the whole basis of marrying this person. I said, when they asked me why I married him, because I can trust him. Because he's always had my back and I know he always will. Because he's my best friend. I guess we were best friends in the dream. <laughs> because he's my best friend. And because I know he loves me. And that was why I married him. And it kind of had me thinking. Because I... I don't want to get too personal. Well... Let's just say I have somebody in my life like that now, too. that I'm really good friends with, and that I know if I was with him, I would have nothing to worry about. But the only thing stopping me is the fact that it is somebody from my past that I've known for quite a few years. I just don't, and he's grown a lot. He's not the same person, but I just so have in my head, I, I want somebody new. I don't know. But I can go hang out with this person, go hiking and all kinds of stuff. Go to the lake, go to the park. Go to a cookout. So think about how you get along with somebody. 
I, I, I think this came to me because in relationships, and I've done it myself, pass up a lot of people or a lot of individuals that would be good for me because I have this idea of who and what I'm supposed to be with. And it's kind of unrealistic. And the reason I say it's kind of unrealistic is because it's never fucking worked out. And it's always left me hurt and with disappointment. Always left me hurt and with disappointment. So this is something for you guys to think about because I feel like some of you Capricorns, you actually may have somebody in your energy that really loves you, that you know always will have your back. You can trust them. They have been loyal to you, whether in your face or behind your back. They never talk shit about you. They're always for you no matter what. They've been your friend and listened to you have all these relationship problems, and they never complained. And you may not know how much this person actually loves you and that you would actually be happy with this person, even if you're not in love with them now. If you took the time to get to know them, or possibly looked at them a little differently, you might actually realize that your person has always been there. I don't know. I'm just saying. And I'm not saying it's an ex. For some of you, it could be because X's change and things don't always stay the same. Um, I'm, I'm team new. I'm team new new. And I know some of you are too. So Capricorn, that is what I have for you. I'm going to leave you with that. I think it's an amazing reading. I'm claiming it. Um, again, don't focus on when is love coming because it's coming when it needs to. And more than likely, that is not going to be your time. Just keeping it real. And I have to remember that too. It's probably going to come, um, when I'm going through something and it might come for you guys when you're going through something. So I just wanted to put that out there. Um, also, I have a new channel. It is strictly a music channel. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. I went from 2 to 29 subscribers yesterday. Yay, me. And um, I may change the name a few more times. Right now, the name of my channel is Radiant, Radiant Light Sound. And it's because my name means Radiant Light or Bright Moon. Um, but I didn't want to go with Bright Moon because I saw another business that had that name. But anyway... Um, it's about, um, it's a music channel. I'm going to have a lot of ambient music on there, relaxing sounds, um, sounds that you can use to sleep, nature sounds, things like that, music that you can put on and unwind, put on and do things you need to do around the house and still feeling a sense of calm and balance. I will be putting up shorts that are like energy check shorts, um, energy cleansing sh uh, shorts and things like that. Uh, shorts that give you a moment to regroup and reconnect with yourself and to take a breather and just be present. So um, thank you for liking this video, subscribing if you have not, and sharing this channel. Comment if you want to. Um, and thanks for doing the same to my new channel. And until next time, I love you guys. Bye.